Uh, hi, AJ Pity here. Uh, yeah, like my New Jersey. Yeah, it's pretty awesome. Minnesota. But, um, this video is Top 09 CDs. Um, I'm just going to be showing you all the CDs I purchased in 09, why, and who's number one. Um, I'll be going over the top ten, and then I'll show you, well, I guess that's it. Um, well, here they are. At number ten, Rancid, Let the Dominos Fall, or Dominos Fall. Um, it really doesn't, it's just not that great of an album, I don't think. I mean, some of the songs got me really laughing, so it's good for that purpose. But, honestly, not a strong attempt. Um, ninth, I'd go Alice in Chains, Black Gives Way to Blue. They're, uh, uh, Check My Brain and Your Decision are both strong singles, and they really were able to put out a strong album. Their new singer sounds exactly like their old, and I think the album's a winner. Um, number eight, I'm gonna go with Pearl Jam. Um, I love the Fixer songs, that's one of Pearl Jam's best songs ever. It's just, I mean, Got Some's okay, Johnny Guitar's okay. Supersonic's alright, but just breathe is terrible. Um, at number seven, Mew is the Resistance. Now, I hated their last CD edit perch. I didn't actually buy it, but I had heard the songs. I really like that Assassin, but I hated Knights of Kendonia, I think it's called, or something, something like that. I just did not care for it at all. But. Yeah, I, I love Uprising. I think that's a great song. Sorry, my light's kind of in the way. Alright. But that is just a fantastic album. Sixth, Flyleaf. Um, some of the songs are really good. It's better than Muse because it's a stronger attempt towards the end, too. Uh, Muse, it kind of, I thought it went away. Um, definitely Muse has better songs for the good ones, but overall, Flyleaf is just slightly better. Um, I don't think it's nearly as good as their debut, but, uh, their sophomore album is not bad at all. Um, fifth album is Paramore, Brand New Eyes. Um, I love the song, uh, Ignorance. I thought Brick by Boring Brick was awesome, but, um... Yeah, where the lines overlap, the only exception, turn it off, and... Eh, they're okay. Care, care, careful is pretty good, though. Um, I'd say, buy the album if you're a Paramore fan. It's not as good as Riot, but it's better than All We Know Is Falling. Um, at number four, Three Days Grace, Life Starts Now. Um, you gotta love Better, or, er, uh, yeah, Break, The Good Life, World So Cold. Those are just three awesome songs. I I love those three songs. And they got good producer Howard Benson, great um, mix guy, Chris Lord LG. He does a lot of albums. He does my favorite band, Rise Again, Three Days Grace. He does so many bands. He's so fantastic. And I thought the inside is pretty tight. I, I love that. But great album. They'll be touring with Breaking Benjamin. I'm going to that concert. All right, here's uh, Incubus with Monuments and Melodies. Now, a lot of you are going to be like, that doesn't really count. Well, it does, because there's a disc two. And disc one offers two extra new songs. And, I mean, that guy looks kind of... Uh, yeah, they all look pretty weird, but that's cool. Whatever. But, um, fantastic album. I, I love that uh, new single, Black Heart Nurse. It's awesome. And number two, Hailstorm. This band has been around for years and years. This is their first album. Um, they were together since she was 13 and her brother was 10. And just uh, the three singles on her are awesome. It's Not You, I Get Off, and uh, Love, Hate, Heartbreak. I, I love those songs. It's um, Bet You Wish You Had Me Back, Innocence are all great, nothing to do with love, dirty work. I mean, the whole album, start to finish, is fantastic. It was my favorite album up until Dear Agony came out by Breaking Benjamin. That album was just phenomenal. I, 
This has been on my iPod for since the first day it came out, and I've listened to it every day. I mean, it's fantastic. And the single I will not buy, I didn't really care for it that much. I thought, nah, it's okay. And I bought the album. I love uh, Crawl is my favorite song on there, but so many other good songs. Uh, Give Me a Sign will be the new single coming up, but all 11 tracks are very good. I Will Not Ball is probably like the second, third worst song on there. And that song is still pretty good. I have nothing wrong with it. But, um, yeah, I bought it with, at Best Buy and I got uh, a DVD that has six music videos. All There's six of them. Uh, Pull Your Maris. Uh, I think that's how you call it. Sooner or Later. So Cold. Um, Breathe. Diary of Jane. And I Will Not Bow. But, that is the top 10 albums. Now, argue all you want, but Breaking Benjamin and Hailstorm are by far the best. By far. But I have to give it to Breaking Benjamin. I mean, just a huge leap from that Incubus to Hailstorm. And Rancid looks like a child toy to Hailstorm. Hailstorm's not even number one, I don't think. But uh, if you think any other album is better, well, good for you. Cause this is an opinion. This is probably the best opinion out there, because I don't listen to rap and hip-hop, I think that stuff is gay as sh crap. It is just so b bad, I mean, I don't know how you can listen to that, but rock alternative pop. There you go.